be a two, huh? <laughs> for uh, for the eight hundred seven to go for the Carl. Yep. And then there's the um, there's one after that too. There's the uh, the surprise slime. All right, give me one moment, guys. I got to change the category first. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. That was a lot rougher than I remember it being, to be honest. So I'm going to actually be playing the European version of Lufia 2 because it's got less, less glitches in it. There's a few graphical glitches that the uh, American release and the Japanese release have. So that's why the titles screen is going to look slightly different. It just as Lufia instead of Lufia 2. Because um, it's Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals, but Lufia 1 never came out in Europe. So when they released Lufia 2, they just called it Lufia. Oh, what were you streaming? More Bloodstained? Let's, uh, all right, let me get that going. Where's Where's my emulator? Here it is. So let me make sure my alerts are in the right spot. They are? Okay. Uh, the emulator is not showing up on the screen. Why is that? Oh, that's why. Oh, that's not in the right spot. No, actually, it is in the right spot. It's the chat and the alerts that are in the wrong spot. Give me a moment, guys. I'm not fully prepared here. Reload the game. I'm gonna let the attract mode play just because there's a really it shows a bit of story here. Oh god, come on! It 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 won't go where I need it to go. It won't snap in place right. There we go. Oh, well, it was with my nephew, Bobby, so he didn't, nobody went hardcore. Well, one person kind of did a little bit, but I was like, hey, calm down with that shit. All right, Lufia 2. This is the whole, like, attract mode. It's actually quite long, but yeah. Master. Aram, I would like to ask you something. Yes, sir. Who should rule? We Sinistrals or humans? So you're seeing two Sinistrals that weren't in the first game here, Aram and Eric. There is no doubt in my mind that we should rule. You're going to get introduced to a bunch of the characters here, too. But why do you ask that, sir? Judgment time with the dual blade has come. Are you saying the dual blade is resonating? Now remember, this is before Lufia 1. Would you go? Yes, sir. So Eric is like the leader of all the Sinistrals. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Oh my god. I was just thinking, like, this reminds me of the way this game ends, but I can't say too much. Because there's, there's a shot like this in the ending. Yeah, mode 7. Yeah, I guess that December stream's coming up, right? This game confused you? Really? Lufia two rise of the sinistrals. We're gonna let it. We're gonna let it still run because there's like a whole like thing where it introduces like a lot of the key story. Oh, why? Because you'd played Lufia two first, or or Lufia one first, or like I don't think it's that confusing. It's obviously a prequel. <laughs> really, Gibbs? You're really gonna do that to me right now? <laughs> You legit thought it was a sequel? I mean, the fact that you're playing as Maxim kind of throws that out the window, considering how the first one started. There's Maxim and Tia. I heard there were monsters in the North Cave. Stop, Gibsy. Yeah. 
Are you going away again? Well, that's my job. Be... be careful. I'll be alright. That underrated sprite animation. You always say that, but I always worry. Now I'll get them, but you have to buy them to you. To you tequila? <laughs> no, definitely not. I will. Well, see ya. Uh, music's on the low side? Shouldn't be, it's loud for me. I mean, it's not, it's not a loud song. I mean, I'm not gonna be sitting here doing this where you guys are like, I'll, here, I'll raise it up a bit. Oh, guy, you're here. Hilda, what's up? Where you guys are like, oh, I can still hear you, so the music's too low. I, you know. Jesse was looking for you. That's as far as I'm going with the music. Really? She was upset. Did you do something? Can you hear it now, Azoth? Nope. Yeah. Jesse's his girlfriend. I forgot our date and went to get the monsters. And Hilda's his sister. Typical. No wonder Jesse's angry. Women don't get it. It's a man thing. I get it all right. You prefer monsters. Well, it's loud on my end now. It's like really loud. I have to lower it on my end a little bit because it's like blasting my eardrums. Lemmy's a cry, baby. Lemmy's a cry, baby. Yeah, not yet. Well, yeah, definitely not Alvastia Chronicles. Hey, Vivify, what's going on? Oh, this is one of my favorite games of all time, man. We just started. We just finished Final Doom, so... Hey, you boys, you should be nice to girls. Well, we finished TNT Evolution. Oh, no, it's selling. Run! Selling. <laughs> They're mean. They call me a crybaby, so I'm crying. Listen carefully, Lemmy. They're wrong, but try to be strong. Why? My father said it's okay for girls to cry. Listen, a woman's tears should... You'll see the rest of that conversation later. Oh, this fucking guy. I say there's no one who can beat me. Yeah, they made a remake on this in the DS. No, not 3DS, the DS. Monsters are all over the North Labyrinth. It was the regular DS. Chill, good man. With my sword, I'll... And Decker goes flying as the prince came out. Where are the monsters? Prince Alex and his friend Joseph are hilarious. In the North Labyrinth, your highness. Excellent. Joseph, follow me. Yes, your highness. Oh, you grind out the ancient cave, huh? Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Sir, Sir Decker. He went flying. I hope he's alive. He's fine, don't worry. And there's Lexus. Kind of an underrated character in terms of combat. It's a, I mean, it's a sad story. That's part of it. I got it. So that's how it works. I understand at last. I'll start work right now. Well, he's really good at magic, surprisingly. Looks like Lexus is off inventing again. He's actually better at magic than uh, Selen or, Ar or uh, Artie. His inventions never work the way they should. Yeah, he sank a ship with his last one. What was that invention anyway? Is he still talking about this? Why? A machine to move ships without wind. 
Oh, that's right. Hey, your memory's pretty good. Yeah, it's because it was my ship that went under. And there's RT. Mika, wait. RT. And his name's spelled right in this one. Milka, where have you been these days? I... I... The worst thing you can do is lie to yourself. But even worse is lying to me. But RT, the people in the city... Oh, she's like the elven Greta Turnberg, that's right. Milka, say nothing more. Mother. Azoth, let it go, dude! RT is aware of everything. Why are we still talking about this? Karen. <laughs> it's it's the elven Karen. She needs to stick to your manager. RT, it must be really hard on you, too. Well, if you're talking about hard-ons... I... Oh, yeah, it's fading upwards. Us or humans? Wow. Wow. Which of us is really transient on Earth? Honk. 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 Dual blade. Do you have the real answer? It's so cool because you get to see Eric, who's like basically an unseen character throughout the series. You get to see the dual blade and like pretty much all the major characters in the beginning there. Oh, that's right. I'm like, why Nintendo? Like, because they published the, uh, or they help they they co-published with Taito the European. This is the European ROM. Yeah. Yeah, it's got less graphical glitches in the uh, European ROM. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Tia, are you home? Hi, Maxim. How was work today? All right, I got six jellies. Let's see. That'll be 120 gold pieces, right? Wait a minute, Tia. I said six jellies. That comes to 180 gold pieces. Oh, I'm sure there is. It's just easier to play the European version. Look, monsters are cheap these days. The city's suffering, so I can't pay top price. Yeah, it's true. More monsters every day. It's spooky, you know? Well, I should appreciate it, though. I'm a monster hunter. I lose my job without them. Maxim, have you thought about getting an ordinary job? What is an ordinary job, anyway? Let's see. Like... A shop owner, perhaps? Me? Shop owner? <laughs> That'll be the day. How can you be so insensitive? Did you say something to you? Forget it! Here's your money! And he has no idea what he did wrong. I don't think you can even go back. Oh, you can. That's it. Maxim, please be careful. Anyway, do you need anything? Oh, because you could buy stuff. Yeah, we don't need anything. We're going to go to the tutorial dungeon very soon. <laughs> Shut up and take your money! Why doesn't Tia get upset at anyone except you, Maxim? Doesn't she like you? Yeah, you don't get it, kid. I can hear Tia's voice from here. You should apologize to her later, okay? Hey, Maxim, how's the warrior business? Don't you think there are more monsters in the cave to Sundleton than there used to be? I have to go to Sundleton to get my grandpa's favorite tea. It, yeah, it's a massive improvement. No formal training at your swordsmanship is good. You must have natural talent. It must be it. I saw a red ball of light shoot into the northern sea last night. I wonder what it was. That would have been Aram. I have a sense of foreboding these days. I hope it's nothing. My granddaughter Daisy is going to Sendleton to buy some wonderful tea. I so look forward to it. This is a spell shop. The city is so peaceful. Yeah, not for long, right? Maxim, I'll show you my secret to dungeon fighting sometime soon. Like right now? Oh, it's you, Maxim. This is a good time to show you my secret techniques for fighting in dungeons. I'll wait for you at the dungeon south of here. So we're going to do the tutorial. So the overworld here is the only place that you get uh, random encounters, but they're actually kind of rare. You don't get them that often. Secret skills game. You took so long, Maxim. Let's go ahead and start. The lesson for secret techniques in the dungeon. 
First, the important thing to learn is the pattern of the monster's movements. Monsters only move when you move, so don't worry even if a monster is in front of you. Oh good, I see a jelly right there. Why don't you try to get that jelly? I'm gonna get that jelly. Here we go. Alright, we got a red jelly. I love the battle music in this. And he's dead. Da, 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 da. That's our Maxim. Jellies are nothing for him. But don't get cocky. Some monsters are fast, gaining two steps to your one. Also, when there are many monsters in a room, don't let them surround you. Of course, the monsters move only when you move, so stop and think before you act. Good. Let's move on to the next room. Enter the door above. In this room, we will learn how to use skills. Press the select button to display the skills you have. Select the skill you wish to use. You now only have the skill arrow, but you'll receive more. Incidentally, arrows can freeze enemy movement for a while. Press the Y button to shoot them. When you hit an enemy with an arrow, it's temporarily paralyzed. Bumping into a paralyzed enemy doesn't lead to a battle. Skills never run out, so you shoot an arrow when you don't feel like fighting. Select the skill you wish to use with the select button and press the Y button to use it. You'll use your skills most in dungeons. You can fight with that jelly there, or use the skill to stop its movement and not fight. It's up to you. Oh, I'm fighting the bitch. Come here. And face your ass. What's the difference? The bridge gave way, but can be crossed when the switch on the back is turned on. The switch is not within your reach. Hmm, we're in trouble. We can't go on. Nah, I was just kidding. You could use skills in a situation like this. Arrows are not only to stop enemy movement. Why don't you hit that switch with an arrow? What? You mean like that? <gasps> Wait, isn't there something over here? Yeah. I can't go there yet. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you come out, I think. The door to the room above is locked. Can you find the key to open it? Can you see the switch in the upper left? Stand on top of it. Yeah, hold on. I gotta do this. That's right, Maxim. Please wait a moment. I almost forgot. I forgot to give you one very precious spell. You can't survive the dungeon without it. It's... Reset. When you solve a trick in this room by pushing something, you must remember one thing. Although you can push the pillars, you can't pull them. In other words, if you push the pillar against a wall or a door, you can't do no and you can't do no you can do nothing more. Blah, blah. But don't worry, there is a reset spell that sets it all up again. This spell sends you back in time to when you just entered the room. Everything in the room returns to its original position, including the monsters. Reset does not take any magic points, thus you can use it as many times as you wish. Possess this spell, and you'll have nothing to fear. I shall give you the reset spell. Gets the reset spell. Also, if you come in here and you immediately push the pillar against the wall, he gives it to you right then. You can also find reset on the shut up on the skill ring. Press select and then up or down on the control pad. That's the only way I've ever used it. Whenever you see arrows like this on the cliff on the right, you can go and jump down. Give it a try. Woo! <laughs> shut up, Ibs! The next door will be open when you defeat all the monsters. When you can't find any devices or tricks. One way to solve the problem is to shut the hell up, Gibbs. Is to, yeah, it's to shut the hell up, Gibbs. One way to solve a problem is to defeat all the monsters, Gibbs. Please stop. Stop. Let's get this lizard. Ow! Get off of me! All right, we got a lizard. Yeah, he's oofing up a storm. We're gonna level up very soon. You don't remember what from the old LP? Ow, oh, he hit me. Oh. You should definitely level me up. Maxim levels up. Gibbs going Gibbs, yep. <laughs> Press the B button to swing your sword. You can cut grass using the sword. Gibbs and Gunny having a... Oh. We didn't have... Gibbs and Gunny weren't born when I did the old Let's Play. Sometimes switches are hidden under the grass. Why don't you try to find one? Gee, I wonder if it's right here. Actually, hold on. Let me see something. I always gotta check these. I know there's nothing there, but... I'm obsessive. Press the A button to pick up and put down the vase. This is a unique skill. Press the control pad while pressing the R button to change direction without moving. You need this skill to change direction when there's nowhere else to turn. Don't forget how to use the R button. Let's see. What do you think will happen if you put the pot on that slate? Why don't you try? Yeah, okay. 
me just grab this one. That's about it, right? Yep, we're done. Well, I guess I finished the lesson. Of course, you have only begun to learn. To get through many dungeons, you must try many different things. It's not easy to do, but I'm certain you'll make it. Well, I must be off. And he's out. And then plot happens. Elsid. I think we just gotta talk to Tia. Hey, Maxim, I was about to have dinner. Would you care to join me? Love to. I made something special, Maxim. Wait a minute, okay? And she fucking throws it on the table. Ta-da! It's fish pot pie made of Navaroa, the phantom fish. Hmm, so this is Navaroa, huh? I've heard of it before, but never seen it. I know, I've never seen it either. What's it taste like, I wonder? Let's dig in. Well, let's see. How is it? Well... Well, uh, what shall I say? Uh, I mean, uh, Tia, why don't you try some? I will. Here goes. And? This is pretty bad. That's what this is. You think so, too? It's not your cooking. It's the fish, don't you think? Why is this called the phantom fish, then? Because it tastes so bad, nobody eats it. Something like that. Yeah, I also put my hair in it. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed. I wanted to cook something really tasty for you. Well, maybe it's not that bad if you cover it with lemon or something. See? That's not bad. Some of the puzzles in this can be kind of rough. Well, I guess you could eat it that way. See? It's already tasting better. Yeah, you're right. How odd. Maybe that's why it's called the Phantom Fish. Well, at least brought it, 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 it at least brought us a cheerful evening. Ha! <laughs> Hair is always a special ingredient. <laughs> special ingredient is love! Ah, oh, you stupid machine! I guess so. Well, I'm stuffed. Let's go get some tea. She ate two bites and stuff. Here you are. Thanks. Say, Maxim. Yeah? Why are you always in battle? Why do you always think of... Why do you always... Let's try that again. Why do you ask such a thing all of a sudden? You're the only one fighting monsters. Not many people fight to live. Why you? I've been fighting ever since I can remember. I've never asked myself why. I've never met anyone quite like you before. Well, thanks for dinner. I'll make it up to you sometime. Don't worry about it. It's no fun to eat alone anyway. Join me again sometime, okay? I'd love to. Eating is something I can do very well, you see. Well, bye. Yeah, Tia is, like, so into him, and he is not really all about it. And she's, like, waiting for him to come around. I smelled something weird. What were you eating? Did you really eat that strange-looking fish Tia bought? Whew. What a guy. Yeah, there's some pretty brutal puzzles in this. I'll explain them all as best I can as I'm doing them. Bad news, everyone. I think he does catch the hint. I just think he's just... He doesn't think of her that way. What is it? A horde of monsters appeared in the cave on the way to Sundleton. Are you sure about that? That's horrible. Daisy, will monsters come to this city too? Well, I don't think they will, but... All right, I'll see you soon, Brandon. Or later, or whatever. Unfortunately, that's not the only problem we've got on our hands. What do you mean? The monsters have closed the door at the back of the cave. We can't get to Subtleton without the key. That's not good. How will we get tea for my grandpa? So does anyone have any ideas about what we should do? Well, no, I don't. Well, I'll just go kill all the monsters. How's that sound? Is it true that monsters came to the North Cave? You're going to get them, aren't you, Maxim? I always go to Subtleton for my grandpa's favorite tea. But I can't go anymore. I know he's going to be so disappointed. Sounds like the monsters are going mental in the North Cave, huh? <laughs> the 90s. Maxim, can you do anything uh, to go mental, dude? Don't have a cow. Ugh. Eat pat. The North Cave monsters are weak. The real problem is the door. It's locked. Maxim, you're the only one who can get the key from the monsters. Please try. For heaven's sake, what is really going on? Maxim, you must know something. As I see it, you're the only one in the city who can take on these monsters. They even admit the monsters ain't the big shit. It's the fact that the key is missing. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, random encounter. They don't happen that often, but here we are. We got a lizard. Yeah, I think he thinks of her kind of as a sister, and she's like, no, I need you to, to do me. Cave to Sundleton. 
A young woman went inside alone. I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. But she seemed different from other women I know. I felt like I shouldn't stop her, you know? Alright, we got a lizard. Yay, and I got a charred newt, which is a very weak healing item. As long as you kill every enemy you see, uh, the game's not that hard. Alright, we're gonna get another party member, and I think I wanna just make a beeline for that, which I believe is this way? Or is it down there? It might be down here. I wanna make sure I get the party, the other party member quickly. Oh, I don't know, actually. Alright, we'll try up here, because I think it might be up here. Hold on, I don't want to fight it just yet. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's just do it in whatever order. We'll do. I think you have to remember what order you do them here. So we got a moth. Is there? There is a party member that joins you, but I want to make sure that we get that quickly. But whatever. Maybe that's later. I might be wrong. Moth, and then we got the jelly. But I'm pretty sure uh, the puzzle here is remembering what order you killed the enemies in. So it'll be Moth, Jelly, Mushroom, if I'm correct about that. Come on. Oh, there we go. That wasn't good, though. Stream dirt for a bit. Eh, it. Don't worry about it that much. Like, I, I'll occasionally drop a few frames here and there. I, I changed my settings again. It should be a lot better than it was has been. Alright, maybe not. Okay, do it. Put this here. And then put that there, and then we did that. All right, I didn't really. Okay, it's a different, it's a different area that I'm thinking of. Life potion. Now I believe these are hit points up. Yep, max hit points up by three. Let me give him a little bit of a boost here too. Okay. I didn't buy any items or anything before I came here. I didn't really need to. Come on, Maxim. Oh, that is not right. Damn. Oh, it's okay. Mushroom. Thankfully, this place is not super dangerous. I just got to get used to the mechanics of this again. It's been a long time. Wow, he is ready to level up. Escape. All right, so that'll get you out of a dungeon. I don't think I ever really use those. The mushrooms remind you of Krang. Nobody likes anchovies. That. Now I got him from behind, so that's a free round. So basically, if you if you get an enemy from behind, you get a free round. If they get you from behind, you get ambush. If you get an enemy from a side, or they get you from the side, it's a fifty percent chance of getting a free round or an ambush. Maxim levels up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use that potion. Well, one of my potions, I should say. And whenever you see something like that, there's always like a secret area to walk through. And there's an antidote. You in a free pizza. Oh, a free pizza. Wow. Okay, first let's get this guy. Hold on. Alright, that's what yeah, that's not the way I want to do it. There we go. Alright, two mushrooms. Mushrooms are haunted. Wow. I don't know if you knew that, but it's true. Mushrooms are haunted. We're gonna put these mushrooms on a beach. Ow. Crank's turning into Jimmy Stewart for some reason. Well... Bop, bop, bop. <coughs> Stop, Gibbs. Stop, Gibbs. All right, let's go up here. All right. We got some moths. It's Twilight barking, yeah. Ah. Yeah, the moths actually hit kind of hard. So if you see the three uh, meters down there, his hit points is the blue bar. Magic points is obviously the green bar. That third bar is IP versus item points. So when you're fighting, you can go here, and none of these have item attacks, but basically... 
if you have an item that has like a special attack, you can use part of your item part point bar to unleash that attack. It's a little while before we can get to do that though. And sometimes it's actually worth using suboptimal equipment because of good IP attacks. Alright, another moth. Mm -mm -mm. Got him! Yeah, it's kind of similar to a limit break. Except it doesn't need to be filled to use it. Okay, can't do anything there. Not yet, at least. We'll have to come back there at some point. Oh, okay, enemies... Uh, <laughs> thank you for the clip, Greg. Enemies only respawn if you leave the dungeon or if you leave the floor of the dungeon. So because I went to a different floor, these guys are back. I don't mind fighting, though. The, the battles in this, as you can see, are kind of fast-paced. So it's no big deal. This is not an exceedingly difficult game in terms of um, battles. It's Difficulty comes primarily from the puzzles. Okay. Yeah. Um, once again, I think I have to come back here. <laughs> I'm doing this all out of order because I don't remember what order anything is in. It's been a while since I've played this. So we'll come back here. Alright, so let's... Up here. Now, I was behind him, but I wasn't facing him. That's why it was, it was a 50% chance, but I did get the free round. I'm just trying to find the room where you get another character to join you, but... I don't know, I could be wrong, that might be in the next dungeon. Mushrooms are haunted! Maxim levels up! Wait, is it level 4? Oh, yep. Alright. Okay, uh, let's... Take all these guys out. All right, we got a lizard. You don't have to fight all of them, but I'm going to because I want the experience points. You're not correcting me. I never said how it fills up. I said, actually, if I did it, I said, as you take me... I'm going to push this up so we don't wind up with a swastika. It's, it's kind of easy... Ooh, surprise attack. It's kind of easy to wind up with a swastika if you do it a certain way, and I don't want that. This isn't Wolfenstein. And there are many different types of limit breaks in video games. In this case, it fills up as you take damage. But it's not, it's not like truly a limit break, because usually a limit break, you have to fill the bar all the way up to use a specific attack. In this case, each attack uses up a certain percentage of the gauge, depending on what it is. And yeah, this is where we want to be. All right, we got a bat. No, it's not like Final Fantasy VII, because in Final Fantasy VII, first of all, the limits are not tied to items. And secondly, uh... In Final Fantasy VII, you need to fill the bar all the way up to do anything with it. Alright, there's a power potion. So let's use that. That's strength plus three. Let's also heal. The ten potions they give you at the beginning really helps out. Yeah, it's, I think it's the next dungeon. Oh, he ran. Where you get an, uh, another. Alright, so that does that. And we can actually just drop down here. I think it's the next dungeon where somebody joins you. I forget things. Well, yeah, yeah, it is by taking damage. Like, an example of an otherwise is in Legend of Heroes. It's a lot of different things fill up your bar. We've got Spoders. These guys are a little tougher, but we're good. Brutarang! Ooh, nice crit. Wasn't enough to take him out, but... 
That would have been cool. Oh, and I'm poisoned. The cool thing in this game is poison, you don't, um, you take damage every turn, but you don't take damage from walking around. So it's not that big of a deal. I will use the antidote I have just to get rid of the status, but, yeah. Alright, heal, magic, save. Boss. I won't give you the key to the door. Let's do this. We got ourselves a lizard man. Ba 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 This guy's easy. It is the first boss and it also shows up as a regular enemy later on. Ba 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 it's gotta be one of my favorite boss themes, like regular ass boss themes in a game. Ba 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 ba. Alright. Another potion. Ba 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 ba. He's dead. Maxim levels up. Dead. Gets the key to the door. I don't get it. How could the lizard men be smart enough to steal the key? Besides, why should the lizard men steal the key? They gain nothing by disrupting human life. I just don't get it. This has never happened before. About to meet one of the most interesting characters ever. Do you wish to know why, Maxim? Who are you? How did you know my name? I can see the future. I know your name and why you came here. Who are you? Never mind. Don't you want to know why monsters are smarter and attacking humans? Do you know why? Are you aware of the ball of red light that appeared a couple of days ago? Yes. <laughs> Quit beating me up. I want to talk about my wrestling action figures. Everything that's happened has, has been because of that light. What? I can't believe that a ball of light has that kind of power. I understand your doubt. It is incredible, but true. But time has begun to change. Now a mere wave, later a gigantic swell of an attack on humanity. That's ridiculous. Why are you telling me this? Because you have the power. The power to confront that swell. Me? Yes, you. Wait a minute. It's true that fighting is my job, I know, but I don't have such great power. What is this ball of light anyway? Is it a monster or human? I need to know. What can I do against this humongous enemy of all humanity? It's not just you. There are others in this world who can confront this evil power. You're destined to go on a journey to meet these people and fight against evil. A journey to fight? That's right. When that ball of light appeared, your destiny was sealed. Will that ball of light really bring misfortune? And I have the power to handle that? This is all I can tell you. Whether or not you believe me and go on your journey is totally up to you. Wait! My name is Iris. I'm here to ascertain your future. If you go, we may meet again. Iris is such a cool character. Alright. Uh. Heal up. Okay! Isn't she great? I, Iris is such a cool character. Especially if you know what you know about her. Obviously, I'm not going to say any spoilers, and I'd rather nobody say spoilers, but yeah. I, Iris is fantastic. Oh, you're thinking of Mega Man X4, Iris? Yeah, she was kind of interesting, too. That was sad, too. Mega Man X4 had a sad part. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. All right. There we go. What am I fighting for? It should have been me that filled your dark soul with light! Capcom was really hamming it up back in the day. Mega Man X4. Devil May Cry. Don't ask me, I don't give a who. Nice. 
Alright. Ooh, this lizard's trying to get the fuck away from me. Yeah, it's the next dungeon where you get another party member. I was off on that. And don't forget, you know, not Capcom, but don't forget, die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Wait, why am I going this way? Well, I guess just to kill the lizard, but we're supposed to go up. I mean, I guess I could go back to Elsid and buy spells, but there's a spell shop in Sundleton as well, so... We're finally killing mushrooms in one shot. Yeah, Moga's definitely making a reference. That's why it, that's why it was in quotes. Hey, Lucius. It's been so long. Well, you came in pretty much at the beginning. I've only done one dungeon. We just met Iris. And we're heading to Settleton. Oh, oh shit. Oh crap. Earthquakes. <laughs> you are almost a Jill sandwich. Phew, that earthquake was a pretty big one. All right, uh, let's go here. What is up, Lucius? I teach battle secrets. What do you wish to know? Uh, neither of these, but all right. Listen carefully. The secret of combat is controlling rage. When you're damaged by the enemy, your rage increases. This is IP. Also, some weapons and armor can produce special effects when you use this IP. For example, amongst the goods in the shop, the battle knife and the frock have IP. The battle knife IP damages enemies vulnerable to lightning. Frock IP restores hit points. In other words, don't buy equipment just because it has greater attack or defense powers. What's important is the kind of IP the equipment has. Even strong enemies have their weaknesses. The key to winning in battle is to be equipped with weapons that have IP and hit enemies' weaknesses. Mmm, chill sandwich. When you're shopping, place the cursor on the item you like and press the X to see in description. When you see an IP mark next to the item, press the control pad right to see the description. It's very important to know which equipment has what IP. Let's see what they got. Oh. Hold on, you got a good weapon. All right, uh, let's get him a dagger. And you can do equip. Okay, let me just see if I have anything to sell. Oh, actually, I shouldn't, I should not sell equipment. You don't want to sell equipment. Uh, so let's, no, no. So I need a little more for hide armor. Do I have anything I can sell that's not equipment? I can sell the, that, yeah. That's <laughs> Gibbs, please, please, all right. Let me go get, uh, get a little health. Uh, get a little, not health. Let me get some money! <laughs> Stop, Gibbs. Meow, meow, meow. Hey, there we go. A blue jelly. There's a reason I don't sell equipment. You'll find out later. That should be more than enough. Actually, I didn't look at how much I had, but yeah, it's good. All right, so we'll get the hide armor. And we also want the cap, that's 240. All right. I may buy it after the dungeon, but mmm, tastes like raspberry. Let's go around and talk. Oh, spells here too. <laughs> Welcome to Granny's Spell Shop. All right. Yeah, I can't afford anything right now, but you don't really need to grind in this game. Uh, It's a pretty easy game. My grandpa said a master catfish in a cave caused the earthquakes. Is that true? The adults say it's wrong, but I believe my grandpa. Did you know a huge catfish makes earthquakes? Only the kids believe it. To the north's a cave enclosed by a lake. Legend says the catfish monster lives in there. So an old man in the square started to say things that the catfish caused the earthquake. It's such a problem, you know. The kids start to believe what he says. No, it's Tucker Carlson. <laughs> He's causing the earthquakes, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, excuse me, I haven't slept much these last couple of days. It's the earthquakes, day and night, and always suddenly, can't sleep a wink. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just so sleepy. Uh, excuse me for a bit. Uh, maybe you should teach a turtle how to yawn. Nice. That old man's crazy. He says a catfish caused the earthquakes. That's just nonsense. But what causes earthquakes anyway? Is it like a giant man stomping or something? Oh yeah, that makes more sense than a fish, right? A master catfish is going mad in the lake cave. Cause the earthquakes. Adults don't believe me. Hey, Maxim. I didn't know you were in Settleton. Hello, what would you like? Yeah, a whole bunch of nothing. This place is great tea. It gives energy, see? So I'm going to do the dungeon first, and then with the money I get from the dungeon, I'll buy stuff. 
It's not important to grind in this. It really isn't. There we go. Alright. So first things first, let's do that. And then we can place these and make ourselves a little makeshift bridge. Maybe it's because you smell like you bathed in rum. <laughs> what are you spraying me with? Rum! This way no one will believe your story. We got some mosquitoes. There's a lot of insects in here, but I believe you can get a weapon that specifically damages insects a lot, which is cool. So he, he did the absorb move. He hit me, but he missed himself. That makes a lot of sense. We're just about to level up, too. Uh, this guy. Alright. A moth and a mosquito. I could probably kill the moth in one shot. Yep. A mosquito. I got a chopping board, which is uh, a shield. Let me see if I want to use that or not. Really? Oh, he, he can't use it. Okay. So you might notice there's a lot of equipment in this. Um, you got weapon, armor, that's uh, uh, obviously shield. There's also, like, helmet, ring, and gem. All right, a blue jelly. All right, so this is the dungeon where you do get another party member, and I believe if I go straight up, it'll lead to that. <coughs> Instead of going to the left, I believe you got to go up this way. Yes, this looks right. I right, got a beetle. Really, dude? All right, we go. Got in first, and it's a beetle. John Paul Ringo and and jo John Paul Ringo and George. All right, so beetle. Then we'll do the frog. This is the one you gotta remember the name, the uh, order. Baby frogs, two of them. Ribbit, ribbit. That means he wasted his fucking turn. Hey, hey, the Beatles. People say we beetle around. Oh, we're the Jeetles. We jeetle around. That's what Jeeples say. Right. Right, let me just, uh... And we got a bat of some sort. Or rather, an eagle. Oh, these guys can be kind of tough at my level, but should be good. Oof! Alright. Oh, nice crit. Okay. Let's see. Shoot the arrows in the right order and you'll find the way. So the order that you killed the enemies in. We did the beetle first, then we did the frog, and then we did this guy. Uh... I think this leads to the sword. All right, which is good, because there's so many insects in here, you do want that sword as quickly as you can. Right, another beetle? Maybe it's Stuart Sutcliffe or Pete Best. Nope. It's the insect crush. Yep, okay, I was right. So we're definitely going to want to equip that right away. Oh, is the dagger fa uh, better? Yeah, but the insect crush is better in here, because it's all insects. We're Jed Jeplin. It's not going to be better on the eagle, but... Oh, there's two of them I really should not have... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, let me... Um, just in case this goes really, really insanely badly, let me make a save state right here. So I'm going to try to run away. I should have saved before... Uh, healed before I tried to fuck with an eagle at low health. All right. All right, now we'll fight him. Dive. Oh, shit. Man, these guys do a lot of damage, but they also give a lot of experience, so. But unfortunately, this sword is not better against them. It's actually worse because it's lower attack power, and they're not an insect, obviously. They're a flying enemy. Oh, damn. Got him. And we gotta deal with the frog, which is also not an insect. I think the um, insect crush also has IP. Let's see. Yeah, bomb attack, which attack all enemies. All right. 
Well, I have a feeling you would. Let's take out this beetle. Just because we can, and I want to show you how much damage you do with this. Look at that, 47. So it's, it's considerably more damage to insects. Alright, we don't need to do that because we're going down this way. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that was there. Otherwise, I would have saved some potions. Alright, so that wasn't the way to get the party member. That was the way to get the sword, but that's okay. Alright, we got a red jelly and a blue jelly. Blue jelly's more dangerous to so go after it first. I really thought I could kill it in one shot, but I guess, well, probably with the dagger I could have. Yeah, Maxim would be like a like a fox. Selen would be a fox. Tia would be a fox. Oh, there It'd be all foxes. Alright. Moth and Mosquito. Yeah, pretty much any insect enemy that I'm going to run into now is going to go down in one hit with this weapon. We'll switch back to the dagger when I fight the catfish, though. Be brave and dive in, and you'll find the way. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go here first. And see. All right. Okay. So I believe we want this one. Yo! All right, we got an eagle. God, that was not a lot of damage. Oof. Please kill. Okay, we got him. That's my last potion, so we have to be careful here. So what I think I'll do here is bomb attack. God, I was really hoping that would be enough. All right, well, I'm faster, and I can just do it again. Because they do so much damage that they're giving me IP a lot. Maxim levels up. I'll use the chart newts I have. What's this? Okay, let's wait on that, actually. Hey, Point Spark, I haven't seen you in a bit. How you doing? Oh, it's just a save point. Okay. How's it going? Um, okay. I think we're going to want to go here. Yes, okay. I think we gotta just... Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's a really good item in here. It's two really good items. Alright, we got a babby frog. The only problem is I'm, I'm low on health and I don't have a way to heal. I might have to dip out of here. At one point. But that's no big deal. Check this out. Behind this wall lies the path to the ordeal that awaits you. First, we do this, so we can get this. A miracle! You been quite busy? Ah, well, I'm glad you're back. And right, let's see if we can cut our way through this. All right, so that's a spider, says. Spider and a mushroom. I need a miracle? Yeah. Well, the miracle I could use if I get really low health here. Oh, I, got a, I just got a potion, never mind. Like I said, I'm kind of doing like almost like a low level run here, but okay. Uh, let's do bomb attack. The Obama attack. Yeah. These guys are high damage, but at least because of that, they're filling up my IP gauge very quickly. There we go. All right, we got a beetle and a skeeter. Really, dude? And that vampire shit? Really? And you're dead. Okay. Another spoder. This is why you get the insect crush before you come here. Alright. Bomb attack. Oof. Will I be able to do it again? I don't think I need to, actually. Let me just attack. Yeah, I didn't need to. Yeah, this is one that I've revisited so many times. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and use that miracle. All right. A beetle! Old side is just my face. Mushroom? And a 
and eagles. Two of them, so we will use bomb attack. I'm at the point where my attack is doing just as much damage as the bomb attack, but when there's two of them. And there's the speedy ring. Okay, so this was all optional, but you really want to do this kind of shit. Uh, so let's... Oh, don't do that, now. Give him the speedy ring, that's gonna raise his defense and agility. So to explain those stats, actually, let me do that. Uh, so it's ATP is attack power, DFP is defense power, strength and agility. Pretty easy to understand. Intelligence. Um, gut is actually how often you'll get critical attacks, so it's basically your luck, and MGR is magic resistance. My uncle used to think it was manager, and then it had something to do with capsule monsters. It does not. There we go. Alright, let me take this guy out first. One single eagle. Alright. Alright, regular attack's not so bad. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Alright. It's a lawyer bird. Create a triangle pointing upwards. Way easier than you think. You just put this here, put this here, and then just bop. There's the lake key. I'm well versed in bird law. To explain the puzzle in a very easy way, if you look at it, there's only three of them that can move. You know what I mean? All the other ones can't move. I also have fake, too, which I think fake just raises your agility or evasion or something. Something like that. So if you look at, you know, that that's the easiest way to do it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the town. We're going to dip out and go back to the town. Lion King speedruns? Ooh, you know what? Let me get out of this. I can't imagine wanting to play that game. It's so fucking rough. Here, let me get out of here. Yeah, and the game is brutal on purpose because they wanted um, more rental money. They made a specific part way more difficult than it needed to be because they thought kids are just renting m games and beating them. We need to make them way harder so that kids will either rent them more or just outright buy the game. No, it's pretty bad, dude. I mean, it's... Oh, no, I don't need to do it again. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I mean, it was it was made ridiculously hard and purposeful. I just realized the guy here I never talked to. Him. Do you know about capsule monsters? Yes, I do, actually. They're friendly monsters who join you in battle and help you win. I said yes. People uh, say up to seven capsule monsters will join you in your journey. I heard there's a capsule monster called Fumi in the woods around here. I came here to find that capsule monster, but it's very hard. Fumi Woods is north between Sundleton and the Lund's Kingdom. I wonder where exactly. It couldn't have possibly have been easier to find, dude. Alright, so let's see. Oh, wait, wait. I'm doing armor. Uh, so let's see. I wanted to get... No, not that. The cat. And the small shield. Okay, we're good. That helps a lot. Like, normally if I wasn't streaming or something, I would, like, grind up enough to get that before I go in the dungeon. But in this case, I... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Uh... Yeah, hold on. Where is it? No, actually, it's, like, over here, isn't it? Yeah. Ma Maxim is not the best at magic, but I'm gonna get the strong spell because it's a healing spell. So that gives me another option for healing. I have a capsule monster <laughs> in my pants. Believe it or not, what's up, Wayne? Capsule monsters are a reference to a popular thing in Japan that like, kind of even predates Pokemon. They were called capsule monsters, where they were little monster figurines in capsules that you get out of vending machines. And uh, this was a reference to that. Uh, Pokemon was a reference to that.
Oh, Gibbs, you stinky bitch. Oh, God. Fucking farted. Uh, we're going this way, right? Yeah. Alright, two Skeetos. Then, of course, there was that game Monster in My Pocket, which was based on little tiny monster figurines. Which, by the way, the existence of Monster in My Pocket, <laughs> pause, is the reason that um, Pokemon was called Pokemon, because in Japan it's not called Pokemon, it's called Pocket Monster. Yeah, he did do that. I don't know if I need to hit the specific one again or not, but yes, okay. Uh, do I want to go in here yet? You know, I think I want to save that. All right, you shit rocks, let's do this. And you're done. But now I have a healing spell. And this is what, just the save point? Yeah, I don't need that, okay. There's one more area I wanna check out before I go back there. Oh, that was wrong, that's okay though. We got a Skeeta and a baby frog. Level seven is actually pretty good to fight the uh, the boss here. On. I might be able to hit level eight before I reach him. Oh, I definitely will. Definitely will. Uh, so let's see. We're gonna do. Oh, I don't have enough for bomb attack. Oh well. Obama. Let's see. Now I can sit here and do this. He's not the best at magic, but at least I have something other than potions. Got both. Nice. And Maxim levels up. No, not reset. Oh, God. Why would I do that? Well, at least I keep my level. Right, hold on. Let's move that so I don't accidentally use reset again. <laughs> I always forget that reset is a spell that you can actually use from the menu and not just from the ring menu. Power potion. So that's strength up. I don't think I'm going to hit level 9 before the boss, but, you know. Let's go. Alright, so first we do this. Hello, Maxim, grab it. You do this. Let me do this. And... Let me do this. Let me put that down. And then we can use this to get across here. Pretty easy shit. All right, two baby frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Checking situation. Oh, they both wasted their turn. That was sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, level eight is going to be more than good enough to beat this guy. But let's make sure that we're all healed up first. And let's go in. Use Lake Key. Oh, I should have switched weapons! Damn it. The dagger's better for this battle. Oh well. My bad. Good! Someone's finally made it this far. Although I never expected anyone so weak. No use fighting. Go home before you hurt yourself. The Earthquake. Is it you who's responsible? I was bored. I created the earthquake hoping somebody would come to me. Your earthquake is troubling everyone. Give it up. Well, I'll think about it. Only if you beat me. Of course, that won't happen. Let's do this shit. All right. I made a grave error and forgot to switch to the dagger, but it shouldn't make that much of a difference. All right, hold on. Uh, what? Well, I'm already faster. I don't need to do that. Weak? I'll show you weak, yeah. I mean, this guy's not that hard. As long as you're at least level 6, you should be able to beat him pretty handily. And at level 8, it should be almost trivial. I 
this is where we heal. Borp. I don't know why we're saying borp, but we're saying borp. Mm -mm -mm. Bomb attack wouldn't do a whole lot on him anyway. Mm -mm -mm. And he's done. 69 left. I I give up. I'll never roll out another earthquake, so please forgive me. Perhaps I'll sink under the lake and sleep for a while. Yes, that's what I'll do. Stupid fish. Yeah, what a weenie. Not even a full-ass wiener, but a weenie. Alright. Fish food. Oh, why am I going that way? Might as well. Go. Oh. Jeez, like one more battle and I'll level up. Um. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if I need to leave here first or if I can get the other party member now. Maxim levels up. I think I have to leave first, but let me just double check. Oh, here it is. Ack! Maxim? It's Tia. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? I should heal before I came in here, but I didn't think she would be here yet. I know you had to beat the boss, but I forget whether you had to go back to town first or not. Yeah, the skeleton's a little rough, but that's okay. We're just gonna do this. There we go. Maxim. Tia, what on earth are you doing here? I, I felt like you were going away, and I just couldn't help myself. Silly me, you're not going anywhere, right, Maxim? Yeah, about that. Oh, no, you are, aren't you? Yes. But why? You remember the ball of red light that flew north? Uh-huh. That light has an evil power that could lead to the world destruction. That's what I was told. World destruction? I can't believe that. But it's true that monsters are increasing and have begun attacking people. Even if that's true, why do you have to go? The same person told me that I have the power to shatter that ball of evil light. It's... It's true that you're stronger than most, but still... I just want to know, Tia. Know what? Ever since I was born, I've known swordsmanship. No one taught me, I just knew. Why do I have this ability? What am I supposed to use it for? I have to know. So, you're not going to change your mind, are you, Maxim? No, I won't be able to see you for a while. That's not true. What? Because I'm going with you. What? No way, I can't take you with me, Tia. Hey, did I beg you to take me? I run a weapon shop. I know how to fight. Wait, Tia, don't walk around so fast. It's dangerous. I know that. Tia! And another fucking goblin. Battle in the middle of the cutscene. I love it. Get out of here. Are you crazy? Thank you, Maxim. I, I'm so sorry, but I... I... Alright, Tia, let's go together. But don't be so rash. Okay. Tia joins the party. So she joins at level 7. Let me just see if I have any equipment for her. Yeah, I should give her the small arm. Actually, hold on. Let me put that dagger back on. And then... Oh, she can't use the insect crush? Oh, well. Alright. She also should have some spells. She has Strong, Spark, and Drowsy. Well, Spark, why not? It's a little overkill for a red jelly, but I just want to show the spell. And you can... You can have... I, I only concentrated on that one, but I can attack multiple enemies or all enemies with any spell you want. The same thing goes for healing spells. You can heal one person, two person, three persons, or all four. Why not? Nice crit. Alright. Back to Sundleton now. Before we move on. Is that your girlfriend? Well, that's sweet. 
Hi, the earthquake's over. She could rest. Yep. Ba 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 ba. Do you know about capsule monsters? We'll say no. Oh, you knew that already. Yeah, mistranslation. Or poor programming. Let's see if I can buy her anything. I can get her a battle knife. Or, oh, get her a whip? Yeah, it's better. Get her the whip. And then for armor... Just the headband, it looks like. Yeah, okay, cool. And let me check out the spell shop right quick. And also just walk around and talk to people, too, because they say different things now. Welcome to Granny Spare Shop. Uh, we got Droplet, for sure. And I can't afford anything else. Poison is useful, but I'll pick it up at some other point. Drowsy is not useful. Oh, I already talked to you. You're traveling, aren't you? Where are you going now? I haven't decided yet. Then you should go to a Lund's Kingdom. They're having the coronation ceremony soon. I want to go, but it's much further than the small shrine in the northwest. Too far for me. Alun's kingdom is beyond the small shrine in the northwest. They're having a coronation soon. I bet the crown is so pretty. I wish I could see it. You defeated the master catfish, I hear. Well, you must be a strong man. With such power, you could be great in Alun's kingdom. Their soldiers are useless. <laughs> Damn, they talking shit. Oh, good, you found Tia. Where'd you go anyway? Even the people in Alun's Kingdom drink this tea. I'm sure they will at the coronation ceremony. It's a Burger King crown. Yeah, it's that paper crown they give to kids at Burger King. Makes them feel better about the fact that they're eating Burger King. You're the brave warrior who defeated the giant catfish. Thanks to you, I can get some sleep. Well, good night. <laughs> I love that no matter no matter what, you're, like whether it's before or after, he always just goes to bed. Thank you. Thanks to you, the earthquakes have stopped. I told two travelers of the coronation in Alun's Kingdom, and they just left. Why are they so interested? Oh god, that's right, that's the Team Rocket of this game. And one of their names is horribly mangled in the translation. We're also going to get our first capsule monster. Pretty much right after this. Alun's Kingdom is further ahead. Good luck on your journey. Yeah, the Goose and Sheila. No, not Sheila. What was her name? Was it Stella? It wasn't Sheila. I think it was Stella. Here we are. Fumi Woods. I am Keeper of the Forest. All who pass here fight for what they believe in. Are you such a man? Yes. I see. Then stand before that spring. This is the sacred ground of Capsule Monster Fumi. If your fight is just, Fumi will gladly join your party. Oh, we're definitely naming him Carl. Fumi has accepted you. Take good care of him, as he will be great help to you. Capsule Monster Fumi joins the party! Please give Fumi a name. So his default name is Gels, but we're going to go with Carl. Okay, so the way the Capsule Monster works is it levels up normally, but it also can evolve, and you evolve it by feeding it things. So, also, they each have an element. This is kind of like the normal type guy. Uh, so, let's see. He wants a whip, which I don't have. But, let's see. Let's just feed him the equipment that I have. Ugh! Yuck! He didn't like that. Ugh! Yuck! Mmm, good. Cloth. Ugh! Yuck! Ugh! Yuck! Oh, this guy's always my favorite. Except in um, the ancient cave, I like the, uh, the fairy. Mmm, good. He's not that picky, to be honest. But anytime you can give him what he's specifically looking for, his meter will shoot up a lot. And once his meter fills up, he evolves. Although I usually don't evolve him to the last level, because he actually gets worse when he's at the last level. Because they give him, like, a water attack, even though he's a normal type. And it's just not very good. Because his physical strength is not good, very good. He also has the highest gut rating out of all the capsule monsters, which means he won't run away that often, and he crits a lot. Here's the Lund's Kingdom. Alright, we got Centopez. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Centipede. You also cannot control the uh, the capsule monsters. They do kind of whatever they do. Fumi Punch! We're 
Right now, he's just a glob of snot. Oh, I got poison. That sucks. The fire dog? Yeah. He winds up being a phoenix at the end, I think. Fumi Punch! I think it's the only skill he has right now is just attacking and Fumi Punch, which is fine. Uh, do I have an antidote? I do not. That's okay. We'll just stay in an inn or whatever. Alun's Kingdom. The coronation ceremony is coming soon, and we can see the crown. We, we can see the crown right now. Perhaps I should go too. Perhaps you should. Hello, here to see the crown. It's twenty gold pieces a night. Are you staying over? Yes. Mostly because I think that will heal my poison. Otherwise, whatever. I mean, I want to. I will want to get the. Uh... Oh no, it doesn't. Oh well. I will want to get the poison spell at some point anyway. Of course you did, Moogle. There's only one slot machine here, but it's a casino, all right. But I hear there's a bigger casino somewhere. I'd love to go there, just for, just once for a little bit. Yeah, I don't fucks with the casino in this. You named the fairy Steve? That's hilarious. Cloth armor has antidote IP that cures all members of poisoning. It's very helpful. Also, the lady behind you should wear a frock instead of a robe. The robe is stronger defensively, but the frock has hit point restoration IP. Very important, you know. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, I can't really afford anything right now, anyway. I might actually do a little bit of grinding just to get myself ahead of the curve. What is a coronation ceremony? The coronation ceremony celebrates the day a new king wears the crown for the first time. Then why not call it the day the king wears the crown for the first time? Oh, you adults. I was here when our king was born, you see. I'm happy to see the prince all grown up. Alun's castle's basement is so huge, like a labyrinth. Some even say it has monsters. Oh, it definitely does. The prince's crown is pr so pretty, decked out with a ton of jewels. I wonder if Abel has already gone to the castle. My son Abel is always playing and never does his chores. He's in the castle in the small shrine. I hear somebody's after the prince's crown. I hope it's just a rumor. Alright, let's do, like, just a little bit of grinding. Wait, is there no magic spell shop here? Hold on. There isn't. Ah, uh, so to get that poison spell, I'm gonna have to go back or just wait till another... You know what? Hold on. I'll just... I could just get an antidote. It's not that... They're very cheap. As a matter of fact, let me get, like, a bunch of them. They're very cheap. Okay, let's see. What do I want? Because if I get ahead of the curve, I won't have to grind, like, pretty much ever again. Alright, so we want a short sword for 900. And a long knife for 800. Won't take long, especially since I'm going to be using the magic of emulation to speed things up. Actually, since there's four enemies, I should be using that IP attack. Oh, I don't have that equipped, do I? Let's see. No, I don't. Do you have anything? No, you don't. You know what I could do is this. It's because they're insects. They're weak to fire. Of course, spells do a lot less damage when you spread them out like that. Oh, the Fumi final form is like a Kitsune, yeah. With nine tails. Is that 232 gold? All right. Carl defends. Boomy punch. Got an antidote. All right, let me, uh... All right, no, actually, it's better she uses it, because it'll... She's got a higher intelligence. And we got Buffalo. She lifts her many tails, huh, Moog? Yeah. Boomy punch. A beefalo here. All right, I got a cloth helmet, which let's see. There we go. And let's see. Hmm, good. All right, two buffaloes. All right, 4 and 44. See, because what I could always do is just, like, do the dungeon in the area and then buy the equipment. But if I get ahead of the curve by getting all the equipment before I do the dungeon, 
I should be able to get to each town and just buy all the stuff I need right away. You were going to make that beefalo joke? Yeah. I played Don't Starve once or twice. An antidote? Alright. More centipedes. The translation in this is pretty good in terms of the dialogue, but a lot of the enemy names are just butchered. Centipes? Like, what the fuck? Alright, uh, do that. I figured they both could use it. Carl Fumi Punch. Six twenty-four. Oh, well, hold on. Let's try Droplet. Two hundred one. Yeah, just, you haven't seen it. Welcome back, Brandon. I'm just doing a little bit of grinding at the beginning to sort of get away ahead of the call curve. How's it going? That was quick. You were not gone all that long. Oh, I got another cloth helmet. Tia levels up. I think this one we can feed directly to Fumi. Oh, he wants the cloth helmet. Thank you! He wasn't so bad. Oh, that's good. Alright. Alright, centipes, centipede. Yeah, you didn't miss a whole lot. You were gone very quick. Oh boy. Man, horse, and eagle. Alright, hold on. Let's do this. Nah, it's not too bad. Enough to take that guy out. Fumi Punch! The Octoslash Sword? Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm just trying to get, like, enough money to buy the stuff that I want before I do the dungeon. That way, you get it kind of ahead of the curve and it makes the game a lot easier. Carl levels up! Carl. How much do I have? Oh, I have enough for that sword, at least. Oh, not the, not the castle, not the castle. This time we are going to punch the horses, exactly. Fuck them horses. Alright, so let's see. Uh, so we wanted to get a short sword. And we want to get... Okay, so what I'm going to start doing here is we're going we're gonna to kind of do a little cheat, cheaty cheat here for feeding them. So I'm going to save it. If he likes the dagger, that's great. If he doesn't, I'll sell it. I'll load the save and sell it. He liked it, so that's good. So if he didn't like it, I would just, like, reload and sell it. So how much do I need for the other thing? Uh, long knife I wanted to get her? That's 800. Like I said, if you grind in the beginning like this, you you find yourself pretty much never having to do it afterwards. Very rarely will you need to grind. Maxim out to... Especially since it's so easy to gain levels at the beginning. It's not, it's not, any, it's not a hard game. Uh, most of the difficulty comes from puzzles. Alright, Maxim levels up. The only thing is these guys are not dropping a lot of money, but... These guys are pretty good for money, but... Also, what's cool about the capsule monsters is they're almost kind of invincible. Like, they make a good meat shield. If a capsule monster runs away in battle, it just comes back in the next battle. If it dies, it just comes back in the next battle. It doesn't get experience then, but... It's fine. Well, towards the end, what you want to do is go to, like, Forfeit Island or whatever to get the specific thing they need. Okay, Cloth Helmet. I know he eats the Cloth Helmet. At least now. Also, when they evolve, their tastes change. Mmm, good. And let me just real quick do this. Hamburger helper, yeah. <coughs> Hamburger helper. The beefalo. <laughs> Centipedes won't help a burger, though? No, they won't. If you want to make your hamburger worse, add centipedes. Centipedes in my hamburger? It's more likely than you think. Uh. Alright. 
Kobe Punch. Oh, they definitely... It, they, there definitely is a pattern. There definitely is a pattern. Like, if they don't like something at one level, they might not get it the next level, but they won't ever like it at that evolution level. I really don't want to be running into these guys. They're not all that worth it. But, it's fine. Wait. Tia levels up. Uh, one more battle should do for her weapon. Mad horse. Alright, let's go buy the uh, weapon for her. The long knife. Oh. oh, it's 800. I thought it was 700. Shit. Do I... Why did I think it was 700? Can I... Do I have anything I can sell? Not really. Alright, we'll just go back out then. I really thought it was 700 for some reason. It's 800. But yeah, there's always a logic to the way that it works with the capsule monsters. And like I said, you could cheese it with saves. Which you don't even need to use save states. You could do like a real save if you want. All right, got an antidote there. Alright, one more battle then. Especially if it's something like this. So I always love it when they attack the capsule monsters because it doesn't matter. I said 800 many times. I thought it was, I thought it was 700. All right, here we go. 886. Oh, no, no, no. It do be like that, though. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna see if he wants the whip. I think he does because he wanted it before, right? He asked for the whip before, so let's see. Mmm, good. All right. Uh, so let's see. Armor-wise, let's see what we need here. Hopefully not a whole lot. All right. Robe, cloth. Oh, boy, yeah, there's a bunch of shit that I could use here. All right, I'm going to try and just do the dungeon now. I'm a little bit ahead. I'm not fully ahead of the curve, but I'm a little bit ahead of the curve. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to, like, make it too crazy with grinding here. Even though it won't take that long. What do you guys think? Do you think I should just grind out and get the rest of the equipment and be fully ahead of the curve, or should I go to the dungeon now? What do you guys think? I'm gonna leave it up to you. It, w it really wouldn't take that long with the fast forward, you know, but... If you guys are down for just a little bit more grinding, it wouldn't... It, I mean, you know, it wouldn't... I don't know. You know what? No, I'm gonna go to the dungeon. You, oh, you want me to grind? Okay, we'll grind. We'll grind. I mean, that way, you know what we could probably do is... Only one person saying that. Alright. Yeah. So, what we could probably do is start the next thing with the dungeon. Hey, okay, Zoth. So yeah, we're just grinding for uh, equipment. For armor. I'm doing it in fast forward so that it doesn't take too long, you know? And we're getting levels along the way, too, but yeah. Mostly just trying to get money for equipment. And anything that the capsule monster doesn't want to eat, we can just, like, reload and sell, you know? Generally speaking, too, the, um, the capsule monsters tend to get more picky as they evolve. Alright, Carl levels up. We named our capsule monster Carl, because of course we did. Well, this first one, at least. Maybe we should name them all memes from the channel. I think every single one will be a channel meme, right? Like, when I get Blaze, I should name it, like, Moog. Like, Calm Down Moog or something like that. Boomy Punch. It's fine, Azoth. It's okay if you need to go somewhere. That should be enough to buy at least something, but let me just... Oh! Hello. No, not you. Not you. You. Yeah, they, they get pickier. They want higher tier equipment. Yeah. They get a little bit more specific with their tastes. Let's start from here, actually. Okay, so... Well, I gotta get something I can actually afford. Yeah, let me let me save it for the most expensive thing first, which is that mini shield for Tia. 
So it's 800. Thankfully, this this is like the only time you'll see me grind, really, because like uh, it's not nothing like Luffy One, where you had to stop and grind several times. All right, maximum levels up. Money, 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 money for the love of the money. All right, maybe two more. If they're good fights like that. And you can see Tia's already doing a lot more damage. She was doing single digits before. Now she's doing 28 like that. Yeah, one more. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. I keep doing that. Mess with the horns, you get some bull. That's that bull boo. This is that bull boo. This is that bull boo. All right, so that'll be for her. Now, let's see. Nope. Alright, so, small shield. Let me just make a save real quick. Ugh, yuck! Okay, so he didn't like it, so what we'll do is we'll just sell it. That way we get a little boost on money. I used to do this. So you, but I had to save the game at the church, write down all the stuff he didn't like, reload the save, sell that stuff, you know. It's a little easier with an emulator. So you get 50 gold for that. Okay, so the next thing I'd want to get is the buckler for him, which is 600. So it won't take long. Mess with the horse, you get their back foot right in the teeth. Ouch. Yeah. And that's why entire birds should not be going out there punching horses. I'm in New York. I'm going to punch a horse. <sighs> I did say 600, or did I say something else? I believe it was 600. Tia levels up! Yeah, 600, I thought so. And as you can see, like, a big part of this is how... ...low the encounter rate on the overworld actually is. Like, random encounters are not a common thing in this game. God, these guys are so bulky. At least with four of them, it's kind of worth it. 326... It's better to fight these guys or the horses, I think, though. In terms of uh, bang for your buck. 402. T is a dominatrix of the whip. <laughs> I don't know, she doesn't strike me as the dominatrix type. Which is probably what Maxim's into. You know, he, he probably needs a stronger woman. That's why he doesn't get with Tia. Alright, 516. Oh my. Wonder if I just do that, if I can kill one. Even that's not a lot of damage. Now, these guys are just don't take a lot of damage. Bugs are generally annoying in this, unless you have a weapon that specifically hurts them. Alright. Booby punch. This might give me enough. Or I might have had enough for Nori, actually. 696, we're good, alright. Okay, let's see. Small sh- wait, I think we did establish that they don't like that, but let me just make sure. Ugh, yuck, ugh, you wanted me to shield? I don't need a I need a medium shield at best. Yeah. All right. So the next thing we want is the cloth armor, which is six hundred. He wanted a hide shield earlier. Yeah, but he didn't want the small shield. A medium rare shield. Wait, how much money did I say that was? Uh, I can never remember these things. Six hundred for cloth armor. Okay, six hundred. Everything costs six hundred. Anything bank costs eight dollars. A well done shield. Yeah. 
He wants a Weldon Shield with ketchup. 206. The only thing is I'm going to be so fucking over-leveled from this, but that's okay. Yeah, I know, that's why we're talking about well done, Azoth. You don't need to explain the joke when we're already riffing on it. 296. Why do you think I said well done shield with ketchup? I want my shield well done with Heinz ketchup. Yeah, ketchup on steak is fucking... You gotta be out of your mind. Alright, car levels up, but that's the way the president eats it. An easy maniac, maniac in the White House. And he eats his pizza with a knife and fork. He's a maniac, maniac in the White House. And he likes his steak well done with ketchup. Carl defends. Bye, 44. One more, really, Gibbs? One more should do it. Don't, don't fuck with me right now, Carl. Crazy horse. And the Neil Young band. Oh, need a little more. That should definitely do it. And puts me at 622, and I keep walking into the goddamn castle. Why, which one of those things do you like? Point. Alright. Where is it? There it is, cloth armor. Alright. Alright, so let's see if he likes the hide armor. I'm gonna just make a save real quick. Mmm, good, yeah, hmm. Alright. Is there anything else we need? Looks like just one thing, which is the robe, which only costs 450. Oh, nom, 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 nom. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish this out. Uh, do a raid, you know? And then uh, next time we'll start with the dungeon. You have to eat your steak well done. You don't mind tomato sauce on it? Mm. Why do you have to eat your steak well done? Is that like... You just like it that way, or you have to for some reason? Hi, Gibbsy, stop. Yeah, Bobby just kind of walked away. I don't know where he went. Like, when I was playing Doom, he, like I looked over and he was just not there. Right. Damn, she got poisoned. Three, two, thirty-two. Stop looking at my feet, you weirdo! He did himself in the He was quiet when he left. I mean, I had the headphones on, but... I looked over and he was just not there. Antidote. Stop, Gibbs, please. An eagle and a crazy horse? Or a mad horse, rather? Oh, boy, feet! That's... That's what Nick Infante is looking for. 362. We're almost there. And two characters are about to level up. I think it was just Maxim and Tia. Alright. Oop. Tia levels up. Maxim's like a dick hair away. 422. So one more battle. Level up Maxim and get us the money we need. Maxim levels up. And it puts us at 460. Let me do one more so I can stay at the end. Because the end's 20, 20 bucks. Stop, Gibbs, stop. Yeah, it was quiet, and he hadn't said anything in the chat in a while. I just look over, and he's just gone. Oh, wait, let's do this first, actually. Whatever. He probably got bored. So I kept telling him, stop spamming emojis, and he kept doing it. And then after a while, I was like, dude, like, enough with the fucking emojis. Like, you want to talk to people? That's great. You want to occasionally put it in emojis? That's great. But you're just spamming emojis. It's irritating. I guess that's what he really wanted to do. Oh, wait, no, not that. Okay, so let's see if he wants this frog. The frog has IP, so I'm usually IP items are good. Yep. Mmm, good, yummy. Yeah, Gibbs is just affectionate, and he licks whatever he can get at. 
And I don't have socks on right now. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to stop here. We'll do the, We'll start the dungeon next time. But we're, we're, we're ahead of the curve now. So now going through this dungeon and getting all the items and money and fighting everything, when we get to the next town, we should be able to just buy everything right away. And it should be just a much faster paced thing. Don't eat our frock, you weirdo. All right, so we save. Yay. And it will also make a save state right there. Okay, guys, so, yeah, we're going to go over the schedule and do a raid. Uh, let's go over here. Please stick around. Don't go anywhere just yet. Please stick around, at least through the raid. Okay, so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Give us, get off me. Okay, guys, so join me tomorrow night. I'll be playing Final Fantasy Legend 2 on the Game Boy. Sunday night, we'll be playing Legend of Heroes, A Tear of Vermilion on PSP. Monday afternoon, we'll be finishing up Samurai Showdown 5 on the Neo Geo. Tuesday night, we'll probably also be finishing up Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I'm hoping to beat it um, next stream. Wednesday afternoon, we'll be returning with more Simpsons Hit and Run on PlayStation 2. Thursday night, we're going to be returning because uh, I didn't stream yesterday, but we will be streaming next Thursday night, of course. It will be more Lennis to the Apostles of the Seals, and a week from today, we'll be continuing Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals on the Super Nintendo. Let's see who we're going to raid today. What are our choices? We got a lot of people on. We got Hula, Yuki, Kali, BB. D-Pad Danny's on, and he hasn't been on, so let's raid him. He hasn't streamed in a long time, and it looks like he's playing Super Mario RPG. Oh, he's in the retro category because that's, I guess, how he does it. But let's raid D-Pad Danny. We haven't in a long time. Somebody was just asking me about him, like why we don't raid D-Pad Danny. I'm like, well, he hasn't streamed in a long time. Oh, stick around through the raid, please, boy. If you could. I mean, you could leave right after if you want, but at least stick around through the raid. But yeah, D-Pad Danny's... Oh, he's kind of near the beginning of Mario RPG, too. He's fighting Bowyer. All right, let me give you guys a raid call. Let's do something like this. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, Flappy Flap. Flappy Noodle. All right. There is the raid call. Copy that. Paste it as we go into Danny's stream. We haven't seen him in like a long time. So it's going to be interesting. Um, so we'll head over there. I'll see you guys at Danny's stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Final Fantasy Legend 2. I'll see you around in general on the Discord and whatnot. And here we fucking go.